Hey y'all, coming to you from the Scotty D TV, you can't cancel cool road tour 2020. And today I'm in Scottsville, Kentucky, shooting a 67 Camaro convertible that uh, Holcomb did an interior in, but it slipped out of the shop before I had a chance to shoot it. So on the way to Louisville, I stopped in and tried to pick it up today. I think y'all are gonna like it. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Troy, what a cool car, man. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Scotty, it's a 1967 Camaro convertible. It's a about a seven and a half year build. Do you do it yourself? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had to help with some friends. Of course, uh, Steve Holcomb done the interior. It's been a long project. Now Steve helped with the interior, but you did some of it too, right? Well, the uh, the custom dash. It's '59 Impala dash, all steel. Yeah, I, I done all of it. Yes, sir. And then Steve did the rest. Yes, sir. He did the top. Yeah. And the trunk. Yep. Good job, eh? Yeah, it, it's nice. It it turned out well. Had you always wanted a '67 Camaro? I had. I liked the uh, I liked the hoop on the quarter versus the '69. Uh, the '69 is probably more popular. I just like that style. Yeah. Well, they didn't change much. It's like a vent window and some louvers, and I always liked the vent window of the was a '69. Yeah, SM. yeah. I like the I like that a lot. I like the uh, I like the stance of a '69, the width in the rear. So so we cut the tail pan and. And the car is actually about five and a half, about five and a half inches wider in the rear. We cut the tail pan, the rear bumper, and sectioned it all and made the quarters wider. No, you did a nice job. You can hardly tell. Thank you. Did Appreciate you it. widen the front at all? No, no, I didn't. We we stretched the front fenders a little bit just for clearance and some aesthetics as far as as far as looks. Where, where it wouldn't be so straight lined, but but it wasn't it wasn't cut and done to the to the extent of the rear. Right. People always want to know what size tires and wheels you're running on it. It's uh the rear's got a 345 3019. Uh, it's 12 and a half inch rush force in the rear. Uh, the front we went with 18 just to get a a little bit of a rake. Right. Now you do you do this for a living? This kind of stuff for a living? No sir. No sir. I own a small car lot. Uh, I grew up working in a body shop and I'd always I'd always dreamed of building a a car like this and. So, kind of got started, and here's where we are. Tell me some of the other modifications you've done to it. Uh, of course, the, the Impala Dash, like I said, it's a LSA supercharged car, and we, we decided to stick with the 6L90 trans, and that caused a little, caused a little trouble. It was, a, it was a lot of work to make it fit and get the pinion angle and stuff right. Uh, it's a huge transmission. So I cut the firewall and the tunnel, and, and uh and got it all to work out and there's there's quite a few modifications small stuff that that maybe maybe wouldn't get noticed right out of the gate the uh the hood was sectioned and and raised to make the uh the blower clear lots of little stuff what about that grill yeah yeah it's a little bit different the uh of course the lower the lower part on the 67s uh, below the fenders is, is normally a bolt-on deal and there's a seam there so we shaved that smoothed it all up and uh, deleted the front bumper just just for the look right and what's that color you use well it's kind of a it's kind of homemade I uh, I sat there at the body shop one night and just started pouring stuff together that's what I came up with what'd you start with I called it harsh and red yeah no, <laughs> very bright red yeah yeah it's a little bit different well it's uh, it started as a Chrysler color, a radiant fire red. I forget the paint code. I've got it down, and I just started started adding some vermilion and different stuff to it uh, until I got where I wanted. You had an idea. Yeah. Of what you're oh yeah. For. Yeah. What's it like up underneath? It's all uh, it's all Detroit speed suspension. Uh, it's four nine inch Moser housing rear coilovers and. Uh, it was a, a bit of a challenge there too with, with the power the car makes, being a convertible to make sure the chassis was, you know, strengthened enough not to have a lot of flex. So I've done all the Detroit speed subframe connectors, weld in and, and all that. So there's, a, there's been a, a ton of structural work underneath the car. Car was done right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm proud of it. You think you keep it for a while? It, it, it should. I, I plan to keep it until, uh, I plan to keep it until I'm, till I'm gone. I got you. Leave it to the boys. Yeah. Let them fight over. Yeah, it. let them argue over it. One yeah. over the Chevelle. Yeah. One over the Camaro. Yeah, they've done called dibs on them. I got you. 
Well, we were going to debut it up at the uh, Pigeon Forge Rod Run, and then that got moved to September, and so I come out and seen you on the You Can't Cancel Cool Road Tour. Right, right. Now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here. After seven and a half years, I finished the car, completely finished and what I would say ready for the show in March. And then uh, the COVID deal, there's not been a show since. So right. I just walked down there and look at it myself every now and then. And I felt terrible because you sent me pictures of it and you were yeah. like, Scotty, it's ready to go. I've got yeah. it cleaned. It's finished. It's going to debut at the show. And I was thinking to myself, man, I hope we have a show. Oh, I was ready. Yeah. I was ready. Well, hopefully but, we can get that in September. Yeah. Yeah. We'll hopefully that'll it carry on. Time. It'll be a cool deal in the fall. Right on. Anything I'm missing about the car? Oh, I don't know. Anybody you need to give a shout out to? Yeah. I, uh, I had several friends help me along the way. Johnny Wheeler. He's a, a good friend. He'd done some of the structural work with me when we were replacing floor pan, trunk pan, and, and whatnot. Uh, Randall Carver, he'd done all my exhaust and, and a few things underneath at Randall's Restorations. Uh, my uncle, without, without the use of his body shop, I probably would still be working on it. So that's Randy Harston, and I guess... Uh, I guess my wife, you can't build a hot rod like this without a good wife. Not in peace, you can't. No. It, Not keep it. It can't happen. When, when you're done with your show car and you still have it and your wife, Right on. it's pretty good. That's right. Yeah. So you didn't do it all in your garage. You did some of it. Yeah, that. the car's been here and there. For the most part, a uh, huge percentage was done in a, just a small garage behind my house. Uh, I hauled it to the body shop, of course, to use the paint, paint booth. All the body work and stuff was done here at home. Uh, I'd paint it piece by piece and bring it back home. Right on. You got yeah. anything else planned? Well, just we'll see where it goes after the rod run. I'm gonna drive the car some, but I'm gonna try to hit a few of the bigger shows when things when things straighten out. And kind of try to let America see what I've done. Right on. It's a beautiful car, brother. I Thanks for giving it. me time today. Thank you, Scotty. So there you go from the Scotty DTV. You can't cancel Cool Road Tour 2020, a 1967 Camaro convertible. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.